the tasty food. Sumeru's largest commercial pork sure lives up to its name. Look at all the merchants. And everyone seems excited just to be here. Uh, how did things end up like this? All thanks to your artistic license. That's how. <sighs> I should have made you wait until we got an update from Tanja. But when I finished the prototype Aranara yesterday, you agreed that the kids would like it. That's why we tried bringing it out for a test run today. Well, I never thought they'd dislike it so much. Oh, what should we do? Whoa, yeah. Compared to everyone else, they seem really down in the dumps. Let's go find out what's going on. Um, hey there! Paimon's name is Paimon, and she's a traveler who was just passing by. Is there something bothering you? Oh, I noticed you two a moment ago. Welcome to Akara Crafts, the best toy store in Port Ormos. Uh, at least for now. Uh, what's bothering us is this prototype Aranara. Uh, to start with, could I uh, get your opinion on it? Prototype Aranara? Uh, you mean this wood carving here? It uh, looks like a mushroom monster to Paimon. Uh, oh, there we have it. The verdict is in. Uh, what a headache. Not the first negative feedback we've had. So, what exactly is a prototype Aranara? So, for context. Aranara are magical creatures in Sumeru fairy tales that live in the forest. For the store's 20th anniversary, we plan to release a series of hand-carved toys based on the Aranara stories that kids know and love. This is a prototype we made to get an idea of how they would react. But when we put it out there, the reaction was not quite what we'd anticipated. They thought it looked like a mushroom too, huh? No. Worse than that, actually. I can't quite describe it, though. And I'm also not very good with kids. Maybe you could ask them for yourselves. This is not an Aranara. <laughs> no way! I've read Uncle Tanja's Aranara and the Ill Little Fungus. It says that Aranara are supposed to be chubby and squishy. The carving looks nothing like that. Mmm, toys do look better when they're round and chubby. Uncle Tanja said in Aranara's vow that you can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. This carving makes me feel lost and confused inside. I don't think the creator put his heart into it at all. It's nothing like an Aranara. Ooh, didn't put his heart into it, huh? Oh, sounds like one of those things that's easier said than understood. Kasid and Alia didn't like this carving, but I think it's okay. It doesn't look too happy, so it's kind of pitiful in a cute way. Oh, a positive review! Yeah. So I would totally ask my dad to get it for me, if it wasn't meant to be a Nara Nara. Oh, well, that took a sudden turn for the worse. 
We asked the children for their opinions. Oh, how did it go? Uh, has it maybe, uh, grown on them at all? Oh, this is such a shame. Uh, why isn't Tondra back from Gondorvaville yet? Oh, the kids kept mentioning an Uncle Tondra, too. Who is he, exactly? Uncle Tondra is a famous children's author here in Port Ormos. He wrote quite a few stories in the past, but uh, none of them were popular among children. Uh, just like our prototype, Aranara. But around a year or so ago, he suddenly had a eureka moment or something, and suddenly the children loved every one of his stories. That's right. My little Gafari loves his stories too. The whole reason we decided to make these carvings was because we saw just how popular the Aranara are among children. We asked Tanja for guidance, but right after he agreed, he went off to Gondarvaville with his son to look for inspiration. They haven't returned yet. We were running out of time, so we had no choice but to carve an Aranara based on our own imaginations. As you can see, this was a result. <sighs> Oh, we have to do something. Hey, since you're the famous traveler, could you do us a favor and look for Tondra in Gundarvaville, hmm? Uh, he doesn't have to come in person if he's too busy. Just ask him to write down his suggestions and bring his notes back to us, uh, if you could. Uh, please, if only to put a smile on the children's faces. Uh, and, of course, you'll be well compensated for doing us the favor. They seem pretty desperate. <laughs> Let's help them out. To see the kids smile. And also for our reward. Yay! Rewards! Tanjo takes his son with him everywhere he goes. The two of them are very close. Maybe that's why he was able to come up with such great stories. Anyway... We're counting on you. Please find Tanja for us. Uh, every new toy we've ever launched at Akara Crafts has always had kids from all over Port Ormos flocking here to buy it. Uh, we thought our Aranara carvings would be a big hit, too. Uh, who would have thought? looking for inspiration. But how do we find him? Should we yell his name at the top of our lungs? Hey, buddy. What's your name? What are you doing here all alone? Do you live in Gondarvaville? Regardless, don't worry. As a trainee forest ranger, I'll do everything I can to help you. <sighs> Hi, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm Rozzy. Don't mind me. I know the way back to Gondarvaville. When people say, don't mind me, what they really mean is don't worry about me. That's all the more reason not to leave you alone. <laughs> hey, don't cry. What's wrong? Take your time. You can tell me all about it. Huh, that voice sounds familiar. Paimon's heard it somewhere before. Oh, it's Kale! And a child who seems to be upset. Oh, let's go say hi. Hi, Kale. How have you been? Huh. Paimon and 
traveler. <sighs> I've been doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. I'm helping Master Tainari patrol the forest. What brings you here? We're here on an errand. We heard your voice, so we thought we'd come ask you for help. You seem kind of busy, though. <laughs> um, I'll be fine. You go help them first, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm okay, really. The sand got into my eyes, that's all. What a well-mannered child. Sand? There is not a lot of sand in a forest. You keep saying you're okay because you don't want us to know what you're upset about, right? Maybe. That's exactly why you have to get it off your chest. Here's a trick. If you're keeping a secret that bothers you, you can try telling it all to a tree hollow. Uh, a tree hollow? Yeah, a tree hollow. Do you know Tanja's stories? The R&R &R living in the forest will patiently listen to every word children say. Maybe there really are R&R &R living in the tree hollows that will listen to you. You like the R&R &R stories too? Of course, I love them. Oh, people who like R&R &R are the best. Okay, I'll try telling my secret to a tree hollow. Thanks, Miss Forest Ranger. You know everything. <laughs> Aw, you're just exaggerating. Anyway, I'm trying to be like my friend, who always does her best to cheer people up when they seem sad. So, how are you doing? Feeling any better now? The forest is very dangerous, so how about we stick together? Sure. Wow. Kali's so good with kids! <sighs> well, helping children who are lost in the rainforest is all part of a forest ranger's duty. So, what was it you wanted help with? You're not lost too, are you? Okay. So, you're looking for a children's author from Port Olmos called Tanja. And he's here in Gandarverville, looking for inspiration. Uh, wait. When you say Tanja, do you mean THE Tanja? That's right! Uncle Tanja! So he's in the area? Looking for inspiration for a new story as we speak? This is amazing! Can you wait for me for a second? I'll run Razi back to Gandarverville and then I'll be right back! I've always been curious what the man behind those incredible stories is like in person. <laughs> Tanja's just a normal guy. Even so, he must be more creative than most people. <sighs> wait! Hold on! Razi, do you mean you've met Tanja before? Mm-hmm. He's my dad. Your dad? Tanja's your dad! As in you're Tanja's son? Uh-huh. Ah! Paimon sees! That guy at Akara Kras told us that Tanja brought his son along with him. So he meant Razi! Why are you here on your own, though? Did you and Tanja get separated? I... We had an argument. I was upset, so I ran off here by myself. Oh, in that case, we should take you back to Gundarverville first. Then we'll look for your dad and tell him where you are. No, I'm, I'm good. Thanks for your advice, Kale. I'm not so upset anymore. Come with me. I'll take you to him. Yay! Thanks, Razi! Paimon thought we'd be spending the whole day looking for him. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm actually going to meet the Tanja! Oh... Hmm, so Tanja headed this way. I know this place pretty well. Follow me! Yep. <laughs> 
Razi! Where are you, Razi? Someone's got... Oh, Razi! Thank goodness I finally found you. What would I do without you, my son? Were you in danger? Did the wild beasts scare you? Did the stars guide your way? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, all thanks to their help. Thank you. Thank you all. I dare say that even the most cold-hearted Spino Crocodile would be moved to tears by your kindness. Oh, it's nothing. It's all part of my responsibility as a trainee forest ranger. I'm the one who should thank you for creating so many wonderful stories for the children of Sumeru. I... Uh, I love them too! Really? I didn't know anyone read my stories apart from young children. That must mean you're still in touch with your inner child. Hmm... Okay then... I have the inspiration for my next story! It shall be about an Aranara granny who's a child at heart. Huh? It's... Uh, it's an honor to become the source of your inspiration! Whoa! Kale looks like she's about to pass out! Uh... Hey, Kale! Are you okay? Uh, I I'm okay. Sorry. I, I just got a little too excited. Are you two story lovers as well? Yes, yes! The moment I saw you, the image of an Aura Giant and an Aura Finch traveling together popped into my mind. Oh? Who asked for my help? My sincerest apologies, but I have fans all over Sumeru. Trying to remember every last one is like trying to identify each grain of sand in the desert. view of what it means to be a children's author. Also, Pyro's not a finch! That's nothing to get excited about! Akara Crafts. Akara Crafts. Oh! Oh, right, right. I remember now. That small boat once sailed into the sea of my memory, but before long it floated away over the horizon, never to be seen again. Perhaps for the best. After all, a wild tempest was a raging in Tanger Harbor. Um, what? Paimon has no idea what he's saying. What should we do? Uh, do you think we should get Tainari to take a look at him? Dad's saying he forgot about helping the people at Akara Crafts learn more about Aranara because right now he has something more important to do. Oh, that's what he meant! Well, there it is! All the proof you needed that this kid is definitely Tanjir's son! Wait, no, this isn't the time for all that. Tanjir, your help is pretty vital to the toy makers. You gotta do something! But the garden that blooms before my eyes is of greater importance. For therein lies the beautiful Padisara that all the children of Sumeru dream of. I... Tanjir have found evidence of Aranara activity right here in the Avidia Forest, conclusively proving that Aranara not only exists in stories, but in real life, too. If I manage to document the first real-life Aranara sighting, the petty problems that perplex Akara Crafts will be untangled in no time. Meanwhile, I may well be able to leverage this to assume leadership of the Academia, then all across Sumeru will know of the great Tanja living in humble Port Ormos! Uh... <sighs> um... I haven't written any papers myself, but I think you need to have a bunch of them approved by the review board before entering the Academia. You also need a detailed and objective experiment record. Uh... Anyway, Tanja, what did you mean by evidence of r and &R activity? The hook's what's important in a story. The great storyteller Tanja never gives his audience the bait right away. Come with me! Wait! Not that way. Kale, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. But that way leads us deeper into the Avidia Forest. I I'm just concerned for Tanja's safety. 
and I think I'm starting to understand why Razi and Tanja were fighting. Just as I expected, the promise of one of my stories has kept you hot on my heels. But this is just an ordinary tree hollow. Hyman's not seeing any evidence of Aranara. You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. Look with your heart and you too will understand. Um, Hyman's not sure what look with your heart means, but anyway, let's start Investigating the area around this tree hollow. Dad never used to be like this. It's all my fault. You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. This line is at the beginning and also the end of Aranara's vow. I'm certain that in a hundred years' time, this line will become a famous proverb in Sumeru. Don't you think? <sighs> uh, I'm okay. You guys go ahead. I'm just a little tired. Could this be the evidence that Tanja was talking about? Uh, the handwriting's so hard to read. It's too hard. I can't remember the names of all these mushrooms. Um, do R and R need to learn about mushroom classification? Here's another note that says. This tree hollow is my castle. That sounds more like something an R and R from the stories would say. There's another one here. Hmm. If only I were a clever R and R. A clever R and R. Is the emphasis on clever or R and R? How does it feel to bear witness to a groundbreaking discovery? Exciting, isn't it? Ah, the crude handwriting may look like a child's, but don't forget, we're in the middle of a rainforest. I doubt that a child would be able to reach this deep into the forest, and I doubt even more that they would think of this lowly tree hollow as some sort of impenetrable castle. I boldly hypothesize that this tree hollow is, in fact, the Aranara's Academia. The notes we saw were written by the Aranara themselves. There is no doubt in my mind about that. An Aranara that wasn't so bright left a note here wishing to become a clever Aranara. Oh, I shall craft a new story for them and call it the Aranara in the Tree Hollow. How's that? Don't the very words just conjure up images of Aranara in your mind's eye? Uh, nope. Well, many an adventurer knows how to take to the skies with their easily visible wind gliders, yet they do not possess the invisible wings of imagination, making it hard for them to keep up with my train of thought. How about you, Miss Forest Ranger? Do you soar into the atmosphere on the wings of imagination? Huh? Me? I don't know. Maybe I do, but maybe not? Uh, anyway, it has nothing to do with me, so... Yeah, I'm fine. It's just that... Witnessing Tanja's creative process is a little... Hmm. Overwhelming. Oh, yes. Yes, 
overwhelming. For now, I've decided to stay here with Razi until we witness the legendary moment when the Aranara appear in this hollow. Don't worry, I won't let the Akara Crafts Toymakers down. When a real Aranara appears, their little troubles will be resolved in an instant. He seems pretty stubborn. Looks like we'll have to stay here and wait a little longer. No, I think we should return to our camp first. Tanja, in Aranara and the Three Little Fungus, it says that Aranara are very sensitive creatures. I don't think they'll show up if we stay here. Oh? Was that in the story? Ah, yes, I remember now. Miss Forest Ranger, you sure know your stuff. In that case, let's go back to camp and call it a day. We'll continue our search for evidence first thing in the morning. of Aranora activity? She's been acting kind of strange. Anyway, let's go find her. Hey, look! Aren't these Kale's footprints? But why are they headed towards the tree hollow? came back here alone. Is she waiting for the r, &R to show up? And I thought this was a place nobody knew about. I never thought Tanja would find it, or that I would run into the Traveler and Paimon. <laughs> if I'd known, I would have just told the Tree Hollow instead of writing it down. There must be another way to practice my handwriting. <laughs> Now I've created a whole new problem for myself. Hmm, what do I do now? Dress up as an Aranara? Oh, no, 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 that won't work. I should be writing something that an Aranara would never say, so that Tanja won't mistake me for one of them. Oh, but what should I write? Oh, what should I write? Hmm. Oh, I've got it. There's no way Tantra could see this as the work of an Aranara. So the evidence of Aranara activity we saw during the day was actually evidence of Kali's activity. But why didn't she just tell Tanja? Oh, right. Kali told Razi that he could tell any secret to a tree hollow. Must be because that's what she does. And now she even writes it down. Yeah, you're right. We'll keep her secret for her. Oh, looks like she's almost done writing. Let's head back. Aha! There's a new note just as I expected. Yes, yes! It's the same handwriting, which means it must have been written by the same Aranara. Let's see what it says. Ooh, what can it be? Uh... I want to visit Mondstadt during the Ludi Harpastum again? No, th that's impossible. This must be some kind of mistake. How could an Aranara go to Mondstadt for the Ludi Harpastum? 
Even I would never write that into a fairy tale. So, in other words, the notes can't have been left by an Aranara. Uh, yeah. If you ask me, they were probably left by a passing merchant from Mondstadt or something. Definitely not an Aranara. No. No, I refuse to believe it. I can't. What do you mean you can't? It's not like it'll take you a huge amount of effort. You've written so many stories beloved by the children. I'm sure you can help create carvings that are just as successful. No! I can't do it. I thought that if I could find an r and &R, I'd be able to help Akara Crafts. But it was someone from Mondstadt all along. But you've managed to write all those stories without ever having seen a real r and &R, right? What makes this so different? I... Uh... <sighs> Rosie, you tell them. Really? Uh, can I? Yes, it's fine. Tell them. I know this is the moment you've been waiting for. Okay. Kale, Traveler, Paimon, do you remember when I said that there was a secret I didn't want to tell anyone? <sighs> I didn't want to tell anyone the secret, but it made me feel very sad and also turned Dad into a completely different person. So... I think I should tell you. Dad isn't the one who came up with all those Aranara stories. Uh, what? Hold on. So if Uncle Tanja wasn't the author then... Who was it? Uh, wait. You don't mean... It was me. Dad's been telling stories in Port Ormos for as long as I can remember. I always got to listen to all his new stories. Every night, Dad would give me a Zaytun peach for dinner, and I'd eat it while he told his stories. The Zaytun peaches were delicious, but Dad's stories were really bad. He always uses sentences that are really hard to understand, and... strange, uh... metaphors, I think they're called? But Dad kept on going, telling his stories again and again. Oh, one time, he even borrowed a camera from Lord Sangema Bay's shop and got me to take pictures of him in action. Dad showed me the picture and said that it shall become the precious record of Sumero's best storyteller early in his career. Even though I only had Zaytun peaches to eat and not so great stories to listen to, I was happy. Then one day, I tried telling Dad a story I came up with. Dad seemed really excited from the very beginning. He, he looked really happy. He lifted me up high into the air and told me to continue. He lifted me up so high that I was looking down at him. As I continued with my story, I saw his expression gradually change. And when I got to my favorite part, Dad started crying. I guess he must have been moved by my story. When Dad put me back down, I looked up at him again, but now he had a scary look in his eyes. You remember it so vividly! It's not only Rosie. I, too, remember every detail of what happened that day. After that, I gradually grew in fame and started making money. I became Sumeru's best storyteller, just as I always dreamed. Finally, we could afford more than just Zaytun peaches for dinner. I... thought it would make Razi happy. I was really happy at first, but then everyone started calling me Tanja's son instead of Razi. I kind of guessed why, but I also didn't want to believe it. Dad got busier with things that had nothing to do with storytelling. Like that request from Akara Crafts. So I made up my mind that this time, I just want to be good old Rosie so that Dad will become good old Dad again. 
instead of Dad the way he is now, starting every story with, Dedicated to my dearest Rosie. I prefer my dad how he used to be, stumbling over words and not knowing how to end the story. That's why I decided to keep how I imagine r and to look like a secret. Wait, Paimon gets it now. To sum up, all of Uncle Tondra's fairy tales were actually stories written by Rosie. And because Rosie didn't want Tondra to keep living a lie, he refused to help him with the Kara Crafts Commission. Yes. That's why I tried looking for possible evidence of Aranara. But it turned out that I was just being a clown, as always. And not even a funny one. I'm a terrible father. I'm sorry, Rassi. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> and I owe you all an apology, too, for wasting your time. Rosie's the only one who can help Akara Crafts. If you can manage to persuade him, that is. Right now, I think I just want to find a tree hollow and be quiet for a while. Um, are we gonna let this happen? You want me to help Akara Crafts with their carving? Well, I did mention what the r, &R look like in my stories, but to make a carving, we might need more details. Kale, Traveler, and Paimon, I might need your help on this one. I've never really left Port Ormos before. This is my first time in Gandarvaville. Well, it's my first time being so far from home. Sumeru is so much bigger than I thought. Seeing new places has given me loads of new ideas for my r, &R stories. So I want to visit more places in Sumeru. That way, I can help Akara Crafts create an r, &R carving that everyone will love. And I also want to take pictures of Dad everywhere that we travel to. You... You still want me to come with you? Even after all I've done? Yeah, of course. Come on, you're the best dad ever. <sighs> this is the happiest Razi has sounded since we met him. I want to thank you, Kale. Huh? Me? I... I didn't do anything to help. You told me about telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Even though I didn't have the time to find a tree hollow, Telling everyone my secret made me feel so much better. <sighs> yeah, it's hard to keep too many secrets. And there's no need to hide our mistakes from others all the time. I made a lot of mistakes back in Mondstadt. But when I look back on them, it all feels more like a new beginning. I'm sure this experience will be the same for Tanja. Yes. I'll do my best to become a good father again. Wait, did you just say you've been to Mondstadt? Ah, uh, um, I just, uh, just passed by once. Never mind that. Come on now, a counter crafts is waiting for us. Let's go, Rosie. Grab that camera and see what hidden inspiration you can discover along the way. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on, Dad. Rosie, slow down and watch your step. Yeah!
got the same one again. When will I get the chubby, squishy one? I guess I'll just have to save up my allowance and get them all. Huh? I thought you came here every day. Have you still not collected them all yet? You should have gotten them as a set. That way, you get seven different designs at once. But then there's no surprise. Surprises are boring. I want to have every design there is. That's what you do when you really love something. I finally saved up enough to buy this set today. Oh, I'm very sorry, but the one Cassette bought was our very last carving. We're out of stock today. But we're working on expanding our team, so please check back tomorrow. Fine, I'll come back tomorrow. Hmm. Just so you know, R and R carvings are more than just stock. Yeah. All right, all right. I'm I'm sorry. Sorry, buddy. Our Aranara carvings have sold out for today. Sold out? Oh no. I was gonna buy one for my cousin who's visiting tomorrow. Hey, how about this? You live near Bronte's house, right? We'll deliver the new carvings to you first thing tomorrow. Wow, thanks, Mr. Fies. Don't forget, okay? I promise. Akara Crafts would never let down a child. Ah, more customers. Uh, sorry, our Aranara carvings have... Uh... Oh, hey, it's you guys. Thank you so much for your help. We've been planning on visiting you to express our gratitude, but as you can see, our store's been really busy. If it weren't for you, the store's anniversary might have been a different story. It's all thanks to Razi. He has so much creativity at such a young age. Oh, and we would like you to have the prototype Aranara as a small token of appreciation. Um, we appreciate your thought, but please give us some time to decide if we want to keep it. <laughs> the R&R father owned up to his mistake and was forgiven by his R&R son. Hmm, I think everyone will like how the story goes. But the reason the father owned up to his mistake was too simple. Perhaps we could make them go through some kind of hardship together. I'm sure they'll become more understanding of each other that way. The r and father will feel guilty after seeing his son work hard. Hmm. When the r and father starts feeling guilty, should he speak more slowly or more quickly? That depends on the r and son. It would be interesting to hear them speak at different paces. Hey, Tanja and Rosie. What's up to? Dad and I are just discussing our latest story. I'll be the one telling the story this time. But I'm a little nervous about telling a story in front of so many people. That's why I'm asking Dad for advice. Oh, Sumeru's gonna have a new young storyteller! If it weren't for you, Rozzy would surely have left me for good. But there's still something that doesn't quite add up. Oh, what is it? Do you need help investigating something? Why would a monster leave a note in a tree hollow deep in the Avidia forest? I... I thought we moved on from this topic. Um, it was just a coincidence. A lot of people write down their secrets and hide them in tree hollows. It's not a big deal at all. Uh, okay. I might have an idea about who that monster is. I'll tell you more about it when we get the chance.
keep up. I'm used to the rain. But you should probably use an umbrella.
Option test. Motion to compel.
Don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's all part of the learning process. Taking me out?
motion to compel. Ha. Ooh, we can definitely write this off as incidental gains. I want to help.
absorption test. I hear everything.
I think we can forgo the lost and found report. I applied a plant-based waterproofing oil to my tail. One swish, and it's dry. 
Thank <laughs> you.